Good day, and welcome to Advent. Beer number 17. And today, on the 17th of December, we have none. Snowplowed. Interestingly enough, I've had the first accumulation of snow today that I've experienced. And this is a winter white ale brewed with spices. What type of spices, you might ask? Let's see if the label will tell us anything. This winter white ale is brewed with a blend of Pilsen malt, white wheat, oats, and flaked wheat. Combine these grains work to create a soft mouthfeel and a mild richness, surprising for such a light ale. The beer is infused with a variety of botanicals used in fernet, which give the beer a winter holiday effect. Enjoy. This is a 5.2% alcohol by volume, which is typical for a white ale, sometimes also referred to as a wit beer. Um, similar to how the dark ale we had earlier, sometimes referred to as a Schwarz beer. It's just the German name for white or dark. Anyway, a wit beer or a white ale is like 50% wheat. Um, it does differ from like a Hefenweizen uh, based on the yeast that's used. Um, and this one, for example, says it is uh, a Pilsen malt, white wheat, oats, and flaked wheat. Uh, oats is a typical thing that's sometimes added to white ales. So she got a, a nice light color and it does say that it has a medium richness, mild richness, which is surprising for the style. Um, Fernet is like a botanical drink. I just noticed, you probably won't be able to see this. On the very end part of the snowman is yellow. So this snowman who was drinking beer at the time not only got ran over by a single tired vehicle, Someone also peed on them. Let's hope this doesn't taste like that. Let's crack it open, pour it out, take a picture inside the glass, and then enjoy. And they have it, very crispy color, bright white head to it. Let's get to picturing and get to drinking. It's quite effervescent. I don't know if you can see the the bubbles are just cascading to the top. Interesting smell. Almost lemony. Alright, let's give it a taste. light. It has like a almost banana flavor to it, which would make it very close to a German uh, Hefenweizen. This is the flavor. It's almost like bubble gum. It might be like the Fernet Botanicals, because though you might not realize it, bubblegum is actually that flavor is a combination of different wintergreens and 
other root um, flavorings, then it all comes together to kind of taste like bubblegum. Um, if you do what's called a, a suicide drink, when you go to like a, a fountain beverage machine, you get like a little splash of everything. The end product is sometimes called, sometimes called a suicide. And it sometimes tastes like bubblegum. It's uh, unique, but I like it. Definitely still has a little bit of bitter at the end, but like definitely some sweet candy, maybe like a banana-y bubblegum hints, notes to it. I like it. And this is by Lake Effect Brewing. Lake Effect Brewing is uh, here in Chicago. It's a 20 minute drive for me, so it's not like the closest brewery to me, uh, but it's in um, Irving Park neighborhood. It's basically right where 90 and 94 split off going north, but they are actually um, in the process of moving to a new location that's about three minutes south east of there. So kind of just like straight down the interstate. Um, hasn't opened yet. They still have their old uh, location still open and listed up there. But uh, their website is lakeeffectbrewing.com. It looks like a lot of good stuff that I saw on the, the beer menu. Um, so for a small place, they do make a large variety and I like what I've tasted so far. So maybe I need to go over there and try some other stuff because this one was both interesting and I liked it, which is really my uh, my go-to when I'm trying new beers or beers from a place I haven't been to. I don't really like to try like their regular pale ales. I want to see what's unique about them. And this one, a white ale with those spices in it really made a unique brew and I liked it. So with that, I bid you farewell today. I hope you had a, a great uh, week and are enjoying the weekend. And I'll see you in the next one. So long. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.